Hi everyone and welcome back to Tech Cravers Now. Today we're checking out something brand new, hot off the press. This is the OnePlus Pad 3, the brand's latest flagship tablet, officially available worldwide starting today, June 5th from selected retailers and at OnePlus.com. In this video I'll unbox it, walk you through the hardware and design and give you my first overall impressions. If you're curious how it performs in gaming, don't worry, that full performance test will be up soon over at my main channel, Tech Cravers. So make sure you're subscribed to both channels so you don't miss anything. Now, let's dive in and see what's in this box. And of course, here it is, the enormous tablet with a massive 13.2 inch LCD, but let's set it aside for a moment and see if there's anything else fun hiding underneath. And since I'm based in Europe, I'm only expecting the usual, just a quick start guide, some safety info and a USB-C cable in this box. But if you're in India or North America, you should also expect to get a power adapter included. But let's get to what really matters, the tablet itself. According to OnePlus, the Pad 3 features their thinnest and strongest tablet body to date. And it only makes sense that it also packs their best ever screen. We're talking about a 13.2 inch LCD with a stunning 3.4K resolution, a unique 7x5 aspect ratio, a 12-bit color and crisp pixel density of 315 ppi. The rear camera is the same 13 megapixel sensor found on the OnePlus Pad 2, but the design has changed. Gone is the bold centered circular camera housing, and instead OnePlus has moved the camera up to the top left corner, a design that's much more in line with today's smartphones. And at first glance the specs might seem pretty similar to last year's model and as OnePlus themselves put it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But the biggest changes are definitely on the software side, thanks to the blazing fast Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 Elite chip. And now that we're booted up, let's take a little tour around the software and see what OnePlus has cooked up this time. Right out of the box, the OnePlus Pad 3 runs Oxygen OS 15, the latest and most polished version of OnePlus's own operating system. It's fast, clean and instantly feel familiar if you've used OnePlus phones or tablets before. But on this massive 13.2 inch screen, Oxygen OS really shines. It's been specifically adapted for tablets with smart multitasking features and seamless screen sharing that make full use of the extra screen real estate. You can easily run multiple apps side by side, drag and drop content and switch between windows with minimal effort. And under the hood is where things get really interesting. This is the first tablet ever to ship with the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 Elite chipset, a true powerhouse compared to last year's model, we're looking at 45% CPU boost and a 40% jump in GPU performance, all while using less power. And believe me, you can feel the speed in every swipe and tap. But performance is just a part of the story. Oxygen OS 15 also brings in a host of AI-powered tools. Open up a document and you can use smart tools for translation, summarizing or quick edits, perfect for both work and study. You also get features like AI toolbox for writing assistance and creative tools for editing and customizing photos. And yes, the new circle to search feature is here too. Just draw a circle around anything on your screen and get instant info. And if you're using OnePlus keyboard, pressing the AI key launches Google Gemini right away, giving you a powerful AI help wherever you are in the system. It's honestly a real thoughtful upgrade that makes the most of this big screen and powerful chipset. Everything feels snappy, polished and just intuitive. Now let's talk about the new keyboard accessory for the OnePlus Pad 3. OnePlus has clearly taken some feedback from their last generation, because this time the keyboard had a proper upgrade. The keycaps are now larger and spaced out more, giving you a layout that feels closer to a real PC keyboard. It also comes with a full range of command keys, new for this version, a dedicated AI button that lets you instantly launch Google Gemini. The keyboard connects magnetically just like before and supports NFC transfers. But now it's even lighter and can be adjusted to your ideal working angle, anywhere from 110 to 165 degrees. Now in real world use, once it's snapped into place, the experience honestly feels close to using a regular laptop. The trackpad works beautifully for navigating the tablet like a traditional computer, and the whole setup feels quick, intuitive and smooth. I also appreciate that the keyboard acts like a protective case when closed. Your tablet's fully covered and safe when not in use. But it's not all perfect. There's no backlighting for the keys, which makes late night use a bit tricky. And while the magnetic connection does the job, it's not quite as rock solid as, say, Apple's Magic Keyboard. 
There is still room for improvement in how it attaches and holds. Still, for casual riding, productivity or just navigating with more precision, this is a really solid companion to the Pad 3. It's not revolutionary, but it definitely gets the job done. Of course, this powerful ship isn't just great for multitasking, AI tools and video playback. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 Elite is also a beast when it comes to gaming and emulation. So if you're curious about how well the OnePlus Pad 3 handles more demanding tasks like console emulation, high-end Android games or even Steam linked streaming, make sure to check out my full performance deep dive over at my main channel Tech Cravers, where that video will be available soon. The OnePlus 3 is truly a fully optimized Android tablet. Honestly, it's hard to imagine needing anything more for my everyday tasks. I'm not the kind of person who regularly uses a tablet for extensive video editing or other heavy PC level workloads, but I do want the option to handle those things if the need arises. And that's exactly where the OnePlus Pad 3 really delivers. It checks all the boxes for what a modern supercharged flagship tablet should be able to do. So that's it for this first hands-on and look at the OnePlus Pad 3, a super slim, super capable tablet that feels like it's built for serious productivity, media consumption and even a bit of creative work when needed. I'll be putting it through more real-world tests over the coming days, so make sure you're subscribed to this channel and my main channel Tech Cravers. If you want to see how it handles gaming, emulation and everything in between, those kinds of videos will end up there. Thank you so much for watching and as always drop a comment if you got any questions and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!